Um, I'm, I have really high expectations for this season. Uh, we brought back a dynamic duo in Stephon Gill and Demarius Bodes, and I feel like we upgraded in every other position on the team. So this year we have a lot more size, versatility, um, athleticism, and depth, and I'm expecting a top four finish from this group. Very excited about the mix of the guys that we've got. Um, take a little bit of time for them to bed in, but hopefully when they get there, we'll be fine. But I'm more than happy with the way everyone is working and everyone's committed to the same common goal. So that's a good start for us and uh, we'll just get better as the season goes on. We know Leicester are a very intense side, we know they're a very proud side, so are we. Um, they beat us up in their place, it's time for us to get our own back. Um, hopefully if we work hard enough, we've made some adjustments this week to uh, the way we played last week. We know we can play up to expectations. Um, and hopefully tonight we can put that right. It's really early in the season, but to be honest with you, it's early and this is a do or die game for us. Uh, if we win this game and we take care of the other two games against the London Leopards, we'll progress to the semifinal. But we're at an eight point deficit right now starting the game. And I don't think that anyone except for Demarius last weekend performed up to their standards and my expectations. So I'm expecting a different result tonight. And uh, like I said, it's early days, but our backs are against the wall. We got to come out and win. For the season, um, I'd love to see at least a top four finish uh, and a trophy and uh, a win in the championships. Daniel Norden, uh, first of all, can you tell us what position you play? 
I'm a forward slash center. How long have you been with the Lions now? I got here September 17th. So, so three, four weeks. Yes, sir. I feel like the team came out with a lot of energy, so it was a good game. We were down eight points going into the trophy game, so we had to get the eight points out of the way, and then we could play zero to zero. So our intentions were to get the eight-point lead as soon as possible. What does it feel like coming over to a team like uh, the MK Lions? Well, this is actually one of the first teams I really went to where I just had to play a role because everybody can play. So it's like I come in to rebound. You know, that's my position. I rebound. We have a great scores all around. So, I mean, my points are going to come off rebounding. And, I mean, it's just a good feel for the team because everybody plays their part. So just tell us a little bit about your background. I've, I've bounced around a little bit. I played Leb Gold my first year, suffered an injury, and ended up last season playing Elba. So I went from Leb Gold to the Elba, Elba League in Spain. And, I mean, now I'm, I'm in England, hoping to be established out here somewhere. Is it getting a bit cold for you? Yeah, you know, after last week it was real hot. They teased me with the weather, and now it's cold today, so they say it's going to get a lot colder a lot faster. Well, I would like to lead, of course, lead my team in rebounding and blocks, but I want to be, you know, one of the defensive players of this league. I would love to be number one rebounder. I hear I got some competition there. It's, you know, pretty good guy. Other teams is getting a lot of rebounds, so I would like to be at the top in rebounds and blocks. I feel like scoring is going to come when it comes, but I, I pride myself on rebounding and blocking shots. Can you talk me through tonight's game, Stefan? The emphasis at the beginning of the game was basically to start as we mean to go on, so to be aggressive from the beginning, uh, make sure we rebound. That was one of the things, especially our big men, make sure we be aggressive on the rebounds, beat them on the boards, and run and push the ball as much as we can and attack. Uh, I think we did a great job of that. I think there was a couple of lulls, but because we had such a great start, we were able to maintain a little bit, maintain a little bit, maintain. And also the aim was basically win each quarter by more than two points, and we win the game because we had to win by more than eight. Uh, and I think, well, we proved that we did that. The team worked extremely well. We went to our strengths, whether it was a shoot, outside shooting, we carried on to go to that. Uh, when they started coming out to us, we went inside, and our strengths were everywhere. I mean, how do you guard a team that can score from every position and is a threat from every position? I mean, we did, we did well as a team today, very well. I was proud of our guys. It's a momentum builder, it's a morale builder, it's a morale killer for the other team. It, it slows them down, they have to use their timeouts to stop us, and you know, it throws the whole thing off, off set. I think we did a great job of that today. And you know, the more we scored, the more we pushed, the more we pressed, the more frustrated they got. And a fantastic result for the first game of the season as well. Oh, yeah. um, and uh, obviously, you need to keep that impetus up for the rest of the season. That's the thing, it's maintenance. It's all about maintenance and maintain, make sure we continue to push and build on what we're doing at the moment. Because obviously, there's a lot of mistakes in this game too, which we can, we can build on. Uh, but yeah, great start. I mean, it's, it's a good home start for the fans to come and see. And hopefully, they'll keep coming, you know, bring the numbers in, tell their friends, and we get more people coming to watch the games. And uh, personal goals for the season? Lead by example. I'm an example leader, I'm the captain now, and, and I'm, I'm trying to show that. I showed that in the first quarter, you know, keep pushing, keep rallying our guys, keep talking to our guys, and be much of a team player and a leader as, as possible.